Okay, the next point I want to talk about is the actual fish itself. And, and this is pretty important. That's a black marlin. It's not a particularly big black marlin, but you can see the size of the pectoral fins. They're very much the shape of a bird's wings and they act exactly the same. That fish is designed to basically glide into the current where it uses almost no energy whatsoever. Now we can use that to our advantage in many ways. If it's designed to glide into the current, then when you're trolling into the current and the fish is swimming into the current to eat the lures, it's not using any energy. It doesn't have to make a decision. Just about every experienced angler has been in a situation where they've had their lures or baits out, a marlin's come up, it's swatted it, it's swum over to another lure, and it's probably possibly followed the boat for up to 15 minutes without ever reading anything and never got particularly excited. And that's because it wasn't using any energy. It could take all the time in the world to, uh, to decide to eat a lure or a bait or not to eat a lure and bait. And the thing is that most boats that troll bait, and most people do start out trolling baits game fishing, you actually troll baits into the current because the current will move you too far away from the zone you want to fish if you go down current because you're not traveling fast enough to combat the current. With lure trolling, the major difference is you don't troll into the current, you actually troll down current because if the fish has to attack going down current, it's going to burn a lot of energy, it's going to make its decision really quickly and it's going to be a lot more aggressive than if it was comfortable swimming into the current. So when you're trolling lures, you actually troll down current, probably not straight down current because once again, you're going to end up too far away from where you want to fish. But once you get to your GPS marks, then you zigzag across the currents and slightly down the currents, and you'll find that the fish will be far more aggressive and that your hookup rate will be much better than trolling into the current. How do you know which way the current's going? Well, not so easy because generally in a great season like we're having now, we sort of think of the East Australian current going north to south which the East Australian current is, but we're actually fishing the major eddies that are coming off the East Australian current and they're circulating around and may not necessarily be going north to south, they can be going in any direction. And in fact, the way the eddies work off the East Coast of Australia and the way eddies work is 90% of the biomass is actually on the leading edge of the eddy. If you haven't got a GPS going to a waypoint where you actually get a little bar showing uh, how much current you've got and which direction the boat is actually going to get to your waypoint. The best way of doing this is you just do a really big circle. Do a big circle. When you're going with the current, you'll be going the fastest speed, for example. Uh, here we're going 8.5 knots going down current. We're going 6.5 knots across the current, 4.5 knots into the current, and once again, 6.5 knots going across the current. So you can actually work out which way the current's going simply by doing a large circle and watching your GPS. Because trolling speed is not GPS speed, which is speed over ground. We actually want to be, our trolling speed is speed through the water. So it's important you know how much current there is and which direction it's coming from so you can troll across it. And the ideal speed is actually 6.5 knots, especially in small trailer boats because it's about the slowest speed you can go and get your lures to work properly without your boat trying to surf or get on the plane or plough, which a lot of trailer boats do if you go any faster. And the other thing is your coffee doesn't spill, your beer doesn't spill, and you can walk around your boat without getting tossed around too much. When we're fishing, I do large circles for a couple of reasons. One, I generally know which way the current's going because you can actually look behind in your wash. The uh, waves will stand up off your wash uh, going into the current and they're actually quite smooth going down current, but that takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, one of the reasons I do big circles, especially during tournaments, when you've got other boats following you, which they invariably will if they think you're any good at what you're doing, um, it confuses them. And when you straighten up, they don't want to look like they're following you, so they go off in another direction.